The search for missing actress Naya Rivera has stretched into its third day at Lake Pyro this morning. Let's go to CBS 2's Tina Patel. She's live at the lake where this search is continuing. Tina. Good morning. Family, friends, and even fans are anxiously waiting for Rivera to be found. But members of the dive team here tell me this is a challenging place to search. It could be another long day for members of the Ventura County Sheriff's Dive Team as they continue to search for missing actress Naya Rivera. There is a lot of underwater debris in the north part of Lake Piru where the boat Rivera rented was discovered. It tends to be very difficult to do line searches, which we normally do, uh, because of those that the trees. And some of them are about 15 feet off the bottom. Agencies from around the state are joining the search effort today, bringing cadaver dogs and specialized sonar equipment. When we're diving and if we have zero visibility, you could swim right by something where the sonar is able to pick it up. So they can actually make targets and then we can go dive those targets. Rivera hasn't been seen since she was at the dock with her son on Wednesday. Investigators believe she drowned. Now some locals are renewing calls for more warning signs about the hazards of swimming in the lake. They say people have drowned in rip currents here before. Dive team members don't think that's true. Rip currents are usually on the beach. It's because the way the waves are breaking on shore and then when they retreat. But they do say the dam creates a current in the lake, and when the winds pick up, as they often do, they can cause dangerous waves. That's why they say what boaters need to realize is the necessity of wearing a life jacket whenever they're on the water. We can't make sure they have their life vest when they're on at all times. And if something were to happen, if you get a leg cramp or you're in the water, you get exhausted, things can't happen. When Rivera's son was found, he was wearing a life jacket, but she did not have one on when she went missing. Again, Lake Piru is closed to the public while this search continues. We'll